My name is Kaspers uh, Zalitis. Um, I'm from Latvia and um, I'm working for the NGO called Mosaica, which is the only LGBT organization in Latvia. Well, um, the current situation with LGBT uh, issues in Latvia is, um, let's say, far from being uh, perfect. And uh, if, if, we, if we look at the Cert, uh, certain issues there over 60 percent of the uh, latvian population are condemning um, homosexual relationships we do have s some of the uh, let's say s some of the laws are there to like the anti-discrimination law uh some other but but the thing is that the people are still afraid to Let's say people are, people are still afraid to come out. If we look for the, the, the protection from hate crimes, there is no explicit uh, protection from hate crimes in Latvia for LGBT people. And not just for LGBT people, there are broader uh, other groups as well. Uh, meanwhile, there is no protection whatsoever when it comes to the same-sex couples. And our uh, constitution states that marriage is only between a man and a woman. That's the state should protect. Uh, and uh, so, so that means like no, no same-sex couples could get married, uh, register their partnerships, or if there are such families, um, in the eyes of the state, they're nothing. Let's say on the every everyday life, when it comes to the people over here, LGBT community over here experience the same type of, um, uh, of violence as practically anywhere else. The problem is that in many other countries, people are reporting it. And uh, people are ready to fight for their rights, which is exactly not the case over here. People, people are afraid to go to the police to report uh, a violence. People are afraid to go to the courts and uh, report the discrimination cases because there, many of them are afraid from the, the social attitudes towards them, which, are, which can be quite negative. In, uh, in a conservative state, we are. So, so that means they, they will have to come out to strangers. And sometimes they haven't been out to, to their friends, to the, uh, not talking about their relatives and parents, etc. So, and in some, some of the cases, this coming out will, ha will need to happen publicly. So people are afraid from that and people are just not doing it. And so that's why we see the number of reported cases are not a, non-existent when it comes to law enforcement, when it comes to uh, reporting to organizations, the, these numbers are very small. The, our organization does various uh, issues. It includes the advocacy work. Uh, this is exactly what I was uh, telling that we are we are working for the protection of LGBT community and uh, in general as well the protection of different minority and vulnerable groups. Um, we are also doing uh, a social work. We're working with young people. Uh, we we are um, working with the. Uh, LGBT parents, meaning the LGBT people that are parents. Uh, we are working with the transgender groups, uh, and we also have a senior group. It's more than LGBT rights. We believe we specifically, obviously, work as we are LGBT organization. But Latvia has a very small number of the human rights NGOs. So I think each of us have, an, we are obliged to to do something uh, uh, to spread the word of general human rights in the society. 
I never consider myself as an LGBT human rights defender. I, 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 I consider myself as a human rights activist. So, because I'm on my daily work, I, I just not do the LGBT work, but uh, for me, it's important that, uh, that everyone's rights are, are protected and everyone can enjoy their rights. No, no, I, I, I would, uh, what the European Union, uh, what the European Union has done is uh, obviously showed very clearly the data that are the reality of the situation of LGBT people in Latvia. Um, So-called older laws that should be uh, put um, in, in our books and like, like all the, all the directives almost are implemented, so the situation should be good. When it comes to a practical life, I slightly doubt European Union can do anything. Even I am a, an extremely big Euro optimist, and I believe to the idea of the European Union. Uh, I have to say that once you're the member of the VIP club that your uh, EU is, uh, we do not have to follow the same um, the same rules that we are applying for the other so-called applicant countries. So, so, so yeah, it's like, e even if we think that European Union is, uh, uh, is the, one of the hearts of democracy, uh, it's actually quite a lot to do at home. I would not say so. <laughs> I, I think we're a young democracy, uh, taking into account that we've gained and, uh, our independence, only regained our independence only 25 years ago. And um, democracy is something new for a lot of people. Uh, if they've been living for entire their life in the repressive regime, as it was in the Soviet Union, um, this this provides a little bit more freedom and some people are just not capable to, um, uh, keep capable to, to live with that. Uh, some people have a wrong understanding of uh, what the democracy is. Like for example, this, uh, some people consider democracy as a, as a, as a power of majority. And, uh, and in this case, not just a power of majority, but power of majority towards everyone. So not taking into account the minority, uh, the minority point of view, which is not the point of democracy. But, uh, but as we are young one, then I think it's again, was my favorite quote is, it's a place for improvement. It's like, we, we are learning every single day. It's, um, and this is, this is as well, a, a nice thing for, for, for Latvia and as for other Baltic countries, we can see what the other European countries and what our other so-called old democracies have done, and we can learn from those mistakes and not to repeat them. I, I, I think this is something um, a quite a challenging for, for a nation um, as with a new democracy as we are. And, um, but in the same time, it, it is a, a very, I think, a positive step for our nation uh, to show that actually progress and the changes are possible. So I, I think that exactly that the Euro Pride is going to take place in, in Latvia, this is the, the proof that the change is possible. My hope for the future is that we are going to become um, a full and a peaceful democracy, as um, as most of the Western uh, countries are. We'll be, we'll, we will become a fully European country that not only uh, us, ourselves, we're going to believe that we are Europeans, but as well the rest of the Europe will see as well as a part of Europe, not just as a, as a you know, as a back corner of the European Union. Uh, as well, 
I believe um, my politicians will uh, sooner or later understand that human rights are meant for everyone. And exactly as it is, uh, that we cannot uh, discriminate any of the groups just because majority of the society might not like them, but the, the corporation is needed everywhere. But um, I do believe that uh, at one day we, we will be fully as democratic as, uh, as we see the other Western European countries. Thank you.